What's up, DJs? It's your boy, DJ Ray. Coming at y'all with a tech video today. It's mainly for my record box users, record box and PC users. Because I'm doing this on a PC. I'm about to show you how you can export any playlist in record box that you have. And you can import them into Tractor, Serato DJ Pro. Now, DJs, you know, for us who run multiple programs, the one thing we want to make sure is that we have the same playlist in each program. So it doesn't matter what program we rolling with, we, we, we straight with our music. We don't have to worry about this not being in it, that not being in, in the playlist. But I'm going to show you how to import your playlist from Rekabox from Rekabox into the other programs now I'm gonna create one so you, I'm gonna do this from scratch so I'm gonna create the playlist and uh, we'll just name it uh we'll name it demo play all right y'all see that y'all see the demo play so let me just throw a couple of songs in there. And this is how you do that in record box. You highlight the song, throw it in the demo play. Highlight another song, throw it in the demo play. All right. There's the two songs in demo play. So now, what you do I already got it highlighted, so I right click, and it says right here it says export a playlist to a file. So I'm exporting a playlist to the to my music apps, and the, the code it looks like a code or whatever it says M3U8. So I want to send it there, which actually sends it to my music folder. In my PC, so I'll send it, hit music, and as you can see, I'm going to try to blow it up a little bit. You'll see the save as type right there. It's already there. So then you just hit save, just like this. Now that's saved. You can open a file. I just close it out. Now, I can actually come out of Serato, I mean, Record Box, I'm sorry, and go into my files. And in my music file, when I open, hold up. Oh, let's back that up. I came out of Serato, I mean, I came out of Record Box. Now I'm in my files. There we go. As you see, I have the music one highlighted, so I'll open that, and there it is right there at the bottom. Let me blow it up so you can see it. You see it says Demo Play. Okay. Now, for time purposes, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to go to Tractor, and I'm going to open up Tractor. So, I'm going to pause the video, and when it start, Tractor will be up. Alright, and we back. Now I have Tractor Pro 3, Scratch Pro 3 open right now. Now, what I'm going to do, I got to go back. So, I'm going to minimize this, and I'll go back into that. Now, on this demo play, you see it here in my music on the PC. For some reason, when I open it, I open it like this. It automatically opens and goes to iTunes. It should pop up in a second. Let me try it again. Okay. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's the iTunes icon that popped up. And for some reason... I'm going to close out record box. There we go. 
it goes into the iTunes, which is great because I can drag that playlist from iTunes right into Tractor. Into the playlist. Well, I have to Tractor. There it is playing. Ooh, that's the play. That's the as you see, it just popped up demo play. And here it is on the playlist. All these that you're seeing right now, I've dragged them into other programs and it put, comes into my iTunes right here. So I'll stop it, go open back up Tractor, go back in Tractor. Now, what I'm going to do is, for some reason, I have to create the playlist in here too. So what I'll do is create it. Demo play. Leave it empty. Okay. Let me open this full screen so we can see. Let me go find it in the list. Okay, here it is in the list. Now, as you see, it's nothing in there. So what I do now is go into iTunes. Go back into that. There we go. And I just simply drag it. Okay, here we go. All right. Let me close that out. There we go. Make sure we're doing this right. Okay, there we go. Now drag it and drop it and watch it populate. Okay, come on now. Let me try it again. I done done this a hundred times. Now I'm going to make a liar out of me. I'll drag it. Uh, now it doesn't want to populate. Hold on for a second. Okay, I figured it out. My bad. You have to highlight the the, the file itself when you in the in the screen. Here we go. Now we drag it and we drop it. And voila. There it is in Tractor. If you're not sure, just pl drop it on the deck. And there it is. The same exact playlist that's in record box is now in tractor now like I said with tractor to drag it in tractor it let's go back is in you I, I send it to my music folder there it is in the music folder what I normally do is open it and then when it opens for some reason it automatically goes to iTunes which is great because that just loads up your iTunes playlist let me minimize that now in iTunes you would just highlight the playlist you want and highlight the whole list we had, there's only two in here but if it's two or two thousand doesn't matter and then you just drag it into tractor and drop it on the playlist you're trying to fill up and it populates automatically so that's how you drag it that's how you take your playlist from record box to tractor it's a long process in a sense but it's worth it once you get used to doing it you you wonder why you didn't learn this a long time ago now i'm gonna stop the video and i'm gonna show you how to do it how to drag those same playlists from record box to Serato DJ. So I'm going to pause the video. When I come back, Serato DJ will be up. All right. Now we got Serato DJ up. And this process is just a little bit easier than Tractor. A lot faster, too. So that's one good thing about Serato DJ. So let me blow up the screen a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. Now, to import the playlist into Serato DJ, you simply go to the file and in the file as you see 
I don't have to go into the drive. It's actually right here. It says demo play M3U8. That's the file. So what you do is just, as we do with all files with Serato DJ, you just go down to the bottom and you drag it, drop it, and there it is. In Serato DJ, you open it. Same two songs, rather two or two thousand, they're in there, and they're labeled iTunes fold iTunes files. So you may be able to just go through iTunes. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, this is the way I've been doing it, and there it is. Cue point setup and everything. There's the other one. Drag that. Here we go. Figure I'll share this with y'all for your multiple program PC users. If you have Rekabox, Tractor DJ, Tractor P Scratch Pro 3, which I use, Serato DJ Pro, you can transfer. Your playlist from record box that's my mainly my primary one that's the one i had the most playlists in i can transfer to the other two programs and hope this video helps this might be kind of long but you know it is what it is this your boy dj ray rg7 entertainment eu entertainment unlimited affiliate what up ty c and everybody peace what up craig dj craig and my cuz I ain't, we, we got to get together, cuz. I, I ain't been over your house in a minute. Peace out, everybody.